So let's talk about flags. So flags in iRacing, probably not the best looking graphics, uh, to put it in this way. But apart from that, you also have no other options uh, regarding flags. So we introduce the flags overlay that you can place it in your games uh, or include it in your streams. Um, it has some customizations that you can play around and I'm going to show it the next few seconds what you can do with this overlay and how you can uh, customize it for your needs. So you can find this overlay under racing overlays and flags menu. And then here you have all the settings. So a flag has a title that you can see on top of the overlay and then it has the actual flag information uh, about what flag is waved uh, on a race. In, in this case it's a blue flag. So if you go to settings you have two options, you either hide or show the title, it's up to you which one you prefer and you also can enable or disable the animations um, the animations regarding how the the flag will show uh, when it comes up. So everything has tons of flags, so we decided to um, group them into different groups. So we have global flags, we have black flags, and we have start light flags. Um, so let's go to the global flags. So let's see what we can do here. Um, so we have a preview window that shows us a, a flag. And uh, in order to see all the different flags, you have this preview button uh, that you can um, set to show in the preview window. Uh, so if you want to see how a checkered flag looks, uh, you just click on the preview um, at the checkered flag line and then you're going to see um, the checkered flag in the preview. So each flag can be enabled or disabled, um, whether you want to see them or not. Uh, and it's just simply done by clicking on the enable button and it will switch to a disabled. So in this case, for example, I wouldn't have the blue flag come up um, when there is a blue flag in iRacing. You can also change the header text for each overlay. Again, the header text is this uh, text on top. Um, so if I decide to, for example, uh, change the header text for the blue flag, then I could just simply do it by um, changing the text in this header section for the blue flag. And if I click on the preview, then you'll see that it has uh, this new text that I defined. And maybe one more thing. Uh, if you go to general, you see there is, a, there is an info uh, on the bottom. And this basically tells you that um, when, you, when you first want to put this overlay on your gaming screen, um, I just click there. Obviously you won't see anything because there, there are no flags by default usually uh, when you join to a session. So what I suggest you to do is um, go to a practice session, um, go over the speed limit in the pit and then you will get a black flag. So the overlay actually shows and then you can place it wherever you uh, want to and then you don't have to place it again because uh, you know it remembers the positions so the next time when you open the app it will open in the position where you left it um, so th that's something we're going to improve in the future but for now uh, you need to use it in this way so that's all you need to know about uh, flags overlay i hope you guys are going to enjoy it and uh, well i can't wait to see the streams with all the custom titles in it also don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video uh, it really helps the video to get recognized on YouTube. And uh, if you want to get the following updates about Race Labs and the new features and all the details of it, hit the subscribe button and you will get the newest video uh, when I'm publishing it. Um, sometimes we don't have enough documentation for each features we have, so it's a lot easier to just tell it on YouTube and uh, spread the information in this way.